Pavel here. Fourth song is Postcards from Paraguay. A very special song for me because I've actually learned how to finger pick from this song around 10 years ago. Then I was starting on the guitar. And I was sort of able to play it even with my basic skills at the time. And this is the most amazing thing about this song. It has like a dozen of chords changing pretty fast and finger picking patterns, all that stuff. But still, covers on YouTube pretty much do justice to this song and everybody universally seems to play it quite well. And I encourage you to try to pick it out yourself because the amount of aha moments is simply over the top in this song. And I mean, aha, he played like that, aha, this is that chord and no other and so on. In this song, each chord seems to flow into another. I remember when I saw Mark play playing it live in Berlin in 2007. I was watching this video like for a million of times and on one million and first listen I realized aha uh -huh, he played with a thumb pattern. And this was already half of a deal. And it's not so obvious especially for slow learning people like me. Uh, with the patterns like this Patterns like this is just your basic Travis speaking actually. A lot of people learned this style from Chad Atkins. But for me it was posters from Paraguay. There's just three principles. The melody can go before the thump. With the thump. And after the thump. And if you analyze the intro, on the very first beat there is a melody with the thumb, then the melody before the thumb and after the thumb. And so on. doesn't it? It's a very visual style and especially on a piece of paper or in your head you can see the relationship between bass notes and the rest of the notes. By the way I'm pretty sure Mark usually plays it with just one finger in the right hand. See that? At first I played like that just for the sake of it, to be more authentic. But it turned out it does have a difference over using two fingers, like you normally would. Not only it's less tension on the hand, but also it's a more interesting sound. You see with two fingers 
you can play the second note louder and it wouldn't sound that even with one finger you have a much better control over the sound of these two notes and it's a very very big deal especially on electric guitar the chords are E minor to G to B7 with an F sharp in the bass This is interesting part. All it is is open fourth, open second fret, or mute fourth, mute second, and it sounds great on electric with a touch of delay and reverb. Um, I've seen a lot of people doing it like this. But it doesn't sound cool enough for me. That's the way. Also, I've seen people holding B7 chord for the whole time. It's kind of strange to don't do that. To another chicken picking. It's either second note, muted, or the first. Verse starts with a G chord. Going to D with an F sharp in the bass. As usual, ignore the first string. To E minor. Next chord is kind of kind of awkward to play with a capo, so usually Mark just plays something over it. But the chord is E minor with D in the bass. Second way to play it is to start from the fourth string and then string six. like reverse button C with a G in the bass G D again then lift off two fingers and play again a beautiful sound stays here with a G bass this shadow style G chord with the third to D again E minor E minor with D again to E minor 6 or C sharp half diminished. I see it like E minus six strum it or arpeggiate it. 
it's like E minor with 4th fret. To play in D chord. I play a bar with my little finger to E minor again from the beginning ends with a little melody on C with G bass chord then on G chord to F sharp in the bass and hammer on to B7 it's D7 to B7 leak. But what strikes me the most is uh, similarities between this song and probably the most famous South American Indian song made famous by Paul Simon back in the 70s. Make sure to listen to the original backing track by Los Incas and the song of course is El Condor Pasa and especially the major part I mean, it's so similar and in other hand it sounds completely on its own, which is another genius part of Mark's songs. He hides inspiration so much you'd never find it unless you are a nerd. And the major part is... Uh, wrong song. Uh, major part uh, is... Basically C major going to G major. Or shadow shadow chord again. C V G in the bass. intro now then we done the electric guitar part uh, let's play the rhythm part and boy this is fun this is the perfect song to play with a friend in two guitars and the amount of Fun is just phenomenal. You need to move the couple to the first fret to play it in A minor. And this part is actually pretty easy, so I'll talk quickly through it. Strumming. I tried all strumming patterns and picks, and it seems that simple scratching with fingers technique, technique works the best here. It's so called 16th notes strumming. 
Mm, let's put it on the first chord. Three things you have to do in order to play Paraguay the fifth. First, play it really fast. Up and down. Second, put an accent on fourth stroke. One, two, three, four. Here. Third, play as little bass as you can and concentrate on upper strings. And A minor, C, E7. C major with B in the bass, A minor, A minor with G in the bass, like Bach. Major, G. You can stay here or move up by A minus seven to G with B in the bass. Remember this fancy chord. It's just A minor with an F sharp in the bass to G. And here I like the sound of this chord. It looks like playing G7 but with F in the bass. First and first frets. To E minor, A minor, F. G7 to E major, A minor, F for two bars, C for two bars, G, E7, and intro again. I'll play the whole thing now. To make a smooth transition to the major part, what I like to do is to bring more bass in. I'll explain. Hear that? You see the major part is pretty high, so electric guitar needs this low end to fly on top of. 
It's just F major going to C major. Chord. Thanks for watching my little video postcards, little video postcard from Russia. What a song! Never meant to be a cheater There was blood on the wall See I had to steal from Peter To pay what I owed to Paul Couldn't stay in face of me